Hello my keto lovers, I am back with a vegetable dish today and uh, you will need some Brussels sprouts, you will need um, some bacon fat, you will need some butter and you will need some balsamic vinegar and if you want to add garlic you can do that and you will need some salt, alright? So those are the things that you will need. Now, just a little thing I want to add about vegetables, and this goes to any vegetable. Um, when you, uh, uh, vegetables are good, particularly on the keto program, because they offer fiber, and they also have phytonutrients, all right? So, fi fi phytonutrients, um, you know, on the keto plan, we're eating a lot of fat and protein and all of these things, and uh, phytonutrients are essential to keep up your vitamin ratio. All right. Now the thing about any kind of vegetable that you are going to cook in a whole bunch of fat is that you want to cut it up small. All right. And that's the secret. That's why people don't like vegetables because they, they, they're too big and bulky to eat and you have to chomp them down and they don't absorb the fat seasonings and salts that you add to the food fast enough. All right, so that's that's enough about Brussels uh, vegetables in general, but in this case, Brussels sprouts, which I have quartered, if you if you can see that. So uh, in my pan, I have my bacon grease melted, and I haven't put the heat on because it's quite noisy. But essentially, what you want to do is have the fat um, hot when you add the Brussels sprouts and then you want to cook them for a minute or so, add the salt, and then add about three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and let it all soak in. And the very last piece you want to do is add your butter. So you can add as much butter as you want, maybe I'd say a tablespoon to, be, to give you a dimension. And, um, and if you want to, you can add some Parmesan cheese to this, which I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and make it. generous with the salt. All right, so that's one teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to now add my butter. All right, so uh, I, I think I'm going to do half a, uh, a, a tablespoon of butter. So about a pat. All right, so that's my pat of butter. And then I'm going to put the lid back on and, and now put it on a low heat because I don't want my Brussels sprouts to burn. So here are my vegetables, all beautifully light brown, and that's how you exactly want them, all right? With a, a little glistening effect of um, butter, all right? Now I'm going to add my balsamic vinegar. And you want to start with two tablespoons, all right? Depending on how uh, tart you like your vegetables. Actually, I'll just put in a tablespoon and a half for right now. And, and then I'm going to toss these in the balsamic vinegar. And I'm going to cook these 
on without the lid on the pan for about five minutes and then I'll and I'll show you what it how beautiful they come out. Here are my finished Brussels sprouts and to this I'm going to add a teaspoon of Parmesan cheese while they're still warm all right so if you're serving these to guests just do it just before they um, you uh, serve them and that's what they look like so I'll show you up front and personal what they look like all right and they're beautiful so you want to um, cook the Brussels sprouts till they are almost um, I don't call them burnt, but uh, fairly well done, all right, and, and not crispy, but uh, an almost a dry recipe, all right, and there you go, and that's your carbs for at least two or three evenings, and um, you're going to have some, a lot of fat, because we've got the bacon grease, we've got the butter, we've got the Parmesan cheese, so, and we got the yum factor, right, so enjoy.